Welcome to Full Frontal. Last week, Mitch McConnell and his gang of 12 finally unveiled their super secret Obamacare repeal bill. <gasps> Guess what the big secret was? The Senate bill sucks. Tremendously unpopular. A massive tax cut to the wealthiest households paid for by cutting health care coverage for poor, working, and sick Americans. It's called trickle down. Poor people will still get access to the antibiotics that rich people shed in their urine. <laughs> oh, we'll also be making some changes to the water system. It turns out 13 rich white guys alone in a room isn't how good legislation happens. It's how Suicide Squad happens. <laughs> but while Suicide Squad destroys your will to live, this bill destroys your ability to live. Medicaid emerged as a key flashpoint Thursday. The Senate would cut all of Medicaid more deeply than the House and impose annual limits on spending. You sneaky motherfuckers. <laughs> that's not Obamacare repeal, that's Johnson Care repeal. Please don't kill Medicaid, it's only 52 years old. It just joined curves and is learning to dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> Most people like Medicaid, including Republican people. Who the hell asked you to gut it by sending it to the states and capping its growth rate? Medicaid, sending it back to the states, capping its growth rate. We've been dreaming of this since I've been around, since you and I were, were, were drinking at a keg. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, while most college guys in the 90s were fantasizing about Pamela Anderson, Paul Ryan was jerking it to thoughts of poor people losing health care to pay for tax cuts. <laughs> Whoa! Easy there, cowboy. You might not be covered for carpal tunnel and blindness. Now, a lot of Americans don't have a clear idea of what Medicaid covers, which is nothing new. Yes, this is Sam Jones. I have a question in reference to Medicare. Or it could be Medicaid. Tell me, what's the difference between Medicare and Medicaid? Well, sir, both Medicare and Medicaid fully fund all mustache medicine. Remember, <laughs> keep your mustache healthy and strong or communism wins. Medicaid is also the thing that'll keep you from selling a kidney to pay for the operation on the other kidney. Covering 20% of all Americans, 39% of children, 49% of all birth, 64% of people living in nursing homes. Yep. That's right. Medicaid's the reason we don't have gangs of elderly people roaming our streets, <laughs> robbing us of our soft food, and sharing their thoughts about Asian people. <laughs> Allowing states to cap Medicaid benefits also threatens the expensive long-term care that was so very important to Republicans back when it was keeping Terry Schiavo alive. And the only way that she won't be alive is if the people responsible for her care stop feeding her and stop giving her liquids. Grief for the disregard of, of innocent human life that is evidenced here. This is a compassionate Congress. Was Mike's hair ever not white? <laughs> I guess he just walked out of the corn that way. Perhaps, perhaps the Senate thought they could trim Medicaid without us noticing, like your kid when he cuts his own hair. This bill cuts Medicaid by $700 billion. Actually, $772 billion. I know, but I wanted to do a neat round thing. By rounding down $72 billion? It's not the price is right. They're not going to send you home if you go over. Millions of Trump voters benefit from Medicaid, and their manatee god swore he wouldn't touch it. How are you going to tell them he broke his campaign promise? Not a cut in Medicaid. There is no cut in Medicaid. There's a reduction in the growth. It's never going to be cut. You keep calling them cuts, but we don't, we don't see them as cuts. Oh, God, she's doing it again. Trump promised no Medicaid cuts, so these cuts must not be cuts. He's the president-elect, though. That's, that's presidential behavior. That's, that's presidential behavior. Okay, 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 they're not cuts. The plan just won't let Medicaid grow to keep up with medical costs and 70 million aging baby boomers who never lost their taste for pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Basically, it's like telling your kid, we were planning on buying you new clothes as you got older, but instead we'll just have you wear the same onesie until you're 53. <laughs> Amazingly, McConnell's thinly annotated copy of Atlas Shrugged wasn't greeted with unfettered senatorial rapture. A procedural vote on the legislation expected yesterday had to be delayed until after the July 4th recess because of growing opposition. Do you hear that? It's the sound of 293 town hall meetings being canceled. But don't put your Sharpies and poster board away yet. 
Can Republicans get this done, Josh? You know, they absolutely can get it done. You just don't bet against Mitch McConnell's ability to figure this kind of thing out. I mean, this is the legislative equivalent of landing a 747 in a suburban driveway. Yes, it's exactly like that, because it's going to be catastrophic. <laughs> and most of the people affected will be women and children. We'll be right back.